Hey everyone! Hey guys! I'm Juliana, and I'm in the driver's seat. I'm Zach, and I'm in the back seat. And this is Mass Effect, and we're doing it wrong. Yeah, uh, we just got back from Eden Prime. There's weird things that boobly happened to Shepard and uh, doobly doobly stuff. So we're gonna probably check it out if you haven't gotten there. We're gonna parse that out. Wait, what? I was saying they should go back and watch. Well, Figure yes, out what happened. We but, yeah. hope they watched the last right? episode, seeing as this is episode three. Right, but if you haven't and you're coming in fresh, please go back and watch the other ones. For watch your own me. Sake. Yeah. Um Anyway, uh, so now I've got to go talk to Joker about where the hell we're going, and I still have yet to figure out who Joker is. Uh, so. It's been driving her nuts for, like, two weeks now. Yeah. So, yeah. No, it's free at this point. Yeah. And nothing good. Yeah. Well, okay. Just to explain, it's early, I've done... It's early in the game. Yeah. I've done... Several of these, and you know, somehow Glad to see you're okay, Commander. it makes more sense to check it out because sometimes later it it's good. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Hmm. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth, or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. That's totally not foreshadowing. <laughs> right. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Hmm. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Because that's <laughs> not foreshadowing. Okay. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? <clears throat> I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. Paragon plus two, what? There's a lineman in this game. Oh. Commander, I'm glad right. to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. 
The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? We'll talk another time. Make sure you're good to go for this meeting with the Ambassador. Aye, aye, ma'am. Sorry if I just seem distracted. I'm uh, making an Instagram post. As Tyrion is adorable. Oh, God. <laughs> Please, how, how edited is? Oh. Oh, yeah. okay. What? Sorry. Wait, we have a messy floor. So. Yes, we do, but I'm a photographer, so I know how to frame things. Yes, I know. So I just have I have issues with that. It's nothing against you, dear. It's just an automatic. Oh my god! Is it out of frame? Oh my god! Glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Ooh, Codex plus ten. All right, Joker, you, you turdly. All right, so I'm gonna be listening really hard, so I'm probably gonna close my eyes and 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 you know, look funny. But that's okay. That's just me turning on my, my extra hearing. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Oh gosh, guys. I wonder if she'll figure it out. You turned. That was a hint, by the way. I got that. sizes and everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SS. Because that's not foreshadowing. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy now. This is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. <laughs> this is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. Yeah, all three of them. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're <clears throat> accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. 
The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Herder, old military person, I hate politicians. Well, it's, well, it's, she's also potentially a colonist. Yes, so. but it's tropey as fuck. Well, yeah. Damn no. it. One, two, three. Damn it. Go. Fine. from the animals. Wow. Oh, they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. This place is a little too perfect. They're hiding something. Oh, I love these guys. Hello there, human. Sincere apology. But I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari consort? <clears throat> she is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What's he got to say? Hmm. Why so cranky? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. Chastising oh. rebuke, Din. <laughs> Your species has always been granted many concessions. Golas territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, Despite our long association with the Citadel, and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. <laughs> Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services is it for over? protection. Is 
Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, she's yes. starting to fall asleep. Good day, Earth Clan. Aww. That's actually kind of starting to fall asleep. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> Please, greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Go ahead and ask, you know. You know you want to. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. You can go to sleep again. The Elcor were just beginning to you explore hush. Council space when the Asari first made contact <laughs> with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Well, that's good information to have for later. Mm-hmm. And potentially making allies later. Yes. Especially if we can track down that, that lady face. Put your gun away. Fine. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. This is totally not you a may robot also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, mm. The Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. 
They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. Oh. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. Ouch. That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Ooh. Why were people trying to keep my species yeah, out? You already did that Some species no, felt humanity was given preferential treatment. Oh. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information <laughs> and simple interaction simulations. Yeah, sure. Beep boop bop, beep boop. Oh, I'll come back later. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Ask about CSAC and, um, some of the. Oh, oh. crap. CSAC is just Citadel security. Right. And then I was gonna ask about the Spectres, but eh. Y'all about to be one! Maybe. Is it was across the bridge? That was a bridge. Uh. I've had my office rearranged five times. Now. A lot of times. Why? How should I know? It's not like keepers offer an explanation for what they're doing. And yet, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. What choice do we have? If you try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces it. Just strange that we know so little about them. Not to mention frustrating. Welcome, I am Nalina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. How? Consort, sweetie. What exactly do you attend to? Well, not everybody knows well, what that means. each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to, to the skills of our culture. acolytes. Could have different my specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Magic about well. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Hmm. Yeah, we need to Can't I just it. go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah. yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in um, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. 
We always enjoy seeing new clients. Melina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. Oh! She wants to make the boom boom. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Do it. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Well then. Do it. Skip into the front of the but... line, cause I'm the player character. <laughs> cause all these things don't happen for a reason. Like, I'm the main person. Da, 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 da. That That's is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. Hmm. What you want? What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Because you're not a grifty. Lady. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm just doing side quests right now. Welcome to the ways that I work. Boobadoo doo doo doo. Ba da da. Boobadoo doo 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 doo. Ba 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 da. Boobadoo boo boo boo. Ba ba da ba doo. But I also know it's important in these ones to actually do that, as much as it kind of sucks and is a time drain. It saves you. No. No. Not what I well, I think this is probably a good stopping point. Yeah. So I know we didn't get get a lot done, but you know, story yeah. and and all that. Yeah. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know if we're doing it wrong in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Catch you Bye. guys in the next one. Do a little.